Next is question number 2.48. In an astronomical observation, signals observed from a distant stars are generally weak. In the, if the photon detector receives a total of 3.15 into 10 to the power minus 18 joules from the radiations of 600 nanometer, calculate the number of photons received by the detector. Simple question. So what is given to us is first in terms of joules. So this has to be energy is equal to 3.15 into 10 to the power minus 18 joules. From the radiation of 600 nanometer, this has to be wavelength. 600 nanometer because you have energy you have wavelength obviously you will have to change this to meters so 600 to 10 to the power minus 9 meter now first thing that you will do is to calculate what is the um, number of uh, what do you what is the energy required for one photon then we will check what is the number of photons required for this much energy all right, so here we will calculate E is equal to H C by lambda. H is Planck's constant 6.626 10 to the power minus 34 into C is going to be the velocity of light 10 to the power 8. And lambda is here 600 into 10 to the power minus 9. When we substitute all this and when we calculate, you get 0 0.03313 into 10 to the power minus 17 joule so minus 34 plus 8 minus 9 will become plus 9 so you will get minus 17 and when you shift your decimal this will become 3.313 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule so this is going to be the energy for one photon now we need to calculate for this much of energy how many photons so basically unitary method so here we can say that energy produced by one photon equals this much 3.313 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule that is why when i wrote this formula here i didn't write n h c by lambda because n is anyway one for one, uh, what do you say, uh, quanta, you photon you found out. Now, you need to find out that how many photons can produce this much of energy. So, here you can write unitary method. Energy produced by x photon equals this much of energy. 3.15, 10 raised to minus 18 joule cross multiply x will be equal to 1 into 3.15 into 10 to the power minus 18 divided by this value 3.313 into 10 to the power minus 19. Simplify all this you will get 0 0.95166 into 10 to the power 1. Shift the decimal you will get 9.516 photons. So these many photons are required for this much of energy.